in studio headshot shoots are so much easier anyway i figured this thing was up already so i figured why not use it <laughs> this is the four by six rfi softbox i have the d2 on this one um just using the speed light for the back i have that wide angle click gel on it i like this better than the dome this actually is a more even wide angle um, than the dome the problem with using a speed light in this type situation when i have the power set to nine on this one is i have to go to 10 on this one uh, there's no if ends or buts otherwise it's just going to be dead in the water and then i have the a2 over here which i have had set at nine um, and that's because of the grid more than anything so this is the lighting setup uh, she's having her headshots redone because she lost a lot of weight and really got fit since the last time we shot um, a real estate agent and she looks absolutely amazing so I wanted to share the shoot with you um, so you can see how this thing does and how the lighting setup is if you have any questions leave them below let's get into the shoot I'll tell you this is so much easier shooting in studio for headshots rather than going on location and this big big soft box um, really surprised me. I, I shouldn't say surprised. It, it delighted me. How's <laughs> that? Anyway, she looks amazing. Um, she's the head of a real estate agency and I shot all of her people, but, uh, she was in Florida and really, uh, got fit and healthy and just wanted to reshoot her photos. And, um, I mean, I think she looks great. So easing her in, it was a lot easier than normal because we've already shot together and she's already used to me. And I'm just gonna make minor adjustments as we go. Um, nothing major, because this light is so forgiving um, when it's this big, and I'm still getting the shadowing I like. I do both sides of people, no matter what, in each outfit. But, you know, they always tend to go to the side they like, but I'd shoot it anyway, just in case. You know, that side was not my favorite compared to her other side especially because of light, um, uh, and I didn't want to move the light all the way across the other side of the studio just for that one shot or two shots of that side. Um, so I kept it there, did a couple shots, and then and brought her back. Now, I had her hands on her hips, and then I pulled them down to her pockets because it was just too high, and she tends to pull her shoulders up, which loses her neck. Um, so make sure you keep an eye on that. You know, just make sure they drop their shoulders for that long neck. Now, she wanted this shot because this is her motorcycle jacket. She does ride motorcycle. She wasn't in an accident. That's why it's so frayed. But I thought, oh, this is perfect. And she wanted this in black and white. Um, so we just did one or two in the jacket before she put on her next outfit. Now, gray card is so important. Um, you know, make sure you shoot gray card during your shoots. Uh, you know, when the light changes or you go into a separate section, it takes two seconds to pull out a light card, uh, gray card, shoot it, and then go back to your shoot. It's going to help you so much in Photoshop. So this is her second outfit. She's going to do uh, two outfits and then change the jacket on this one. Now you can see like when she puts on her hand on her hip, her shoulder goes right up. And, and so I had her move her hand down and then pull the shoulder down. Because when it's that height, you lose the neck. So, and the, you know, because of the, the structure of the jacket, I even had her tilt her head a little bit, pull that neck out even more. Um, now you can have them tilt their, tilt their head a little bit and drop their shoulder, or you can have them lift their head just a little bit. I usually don't like a lifted head shot, but this worked for her because it was, you know, pulling in her neck. Um, and it looks amazing on her. Now, you know, crossing the arms, it, again, she tightens up the shoulders. Um, it's a little bit better, so just a little bit of the tilt of the head. Now, just to loosen her up in the middle of this, I said, you know, Vanna White, show a house, that kind of thing. Um, but it loosened her up a little bit for the last couple of shots. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the shoot. Um, you know, I'm just happy with this giant 4x6 softbox uh, in the studio, even for headshots like this. You can see how well you can control shadowing, um, even with that that type of softbox and that big. It's not completely, completely soft. Um, I can make it a little bit harder just by, you know, moving it from place to place. Um, and we just did one fun shot before we finished. Thanks for watching as always.